Hey, yo. Conductor. Peace, man. Salute. Peace to the union, man. I am Conductor Williams. So happy to have y'all watching this video. In this video, though, we're going to get into a beat breakdown of a song that I produced for West Side Gun, Stove God Cooks, and Rome Streets. The song is called BDP. It's on West Side Gun's album 10. Con Conductor, we have a problem. What the, f the way I cook this beat. And how it came about is really random, probably one of the most random beats that I ever made. A lot of fun making it. So let's just get into it, man. I, I'll, I'll break it all down. Let's get into it. Come on. West Side Gun is family. The whole Griselda camp is family. Rome Streets, a Stove Guy Cooks, all family. And for you Griselda fans, by the time 10 comes out, you guys have experienced Conductor Williams a bit, right? So we've had Eurostep, Michael Irvin, Rebirth, Makami has happened too. We've spent some time together, audio time, you know what I'm saying? You've heard the tag. Conductor. And, and basically, I think a lot of the Griselda fans know what I'm about. So now I'm in a position where I'm adding value and I'm spending a little bit more time with Wes. Just vacation vibes, really. You know what I'm saying? Just pull up. I find myself out in Phoenix and it's Vic from uh, Inner Arts Media. Fantastic photographer, videographer, hand style artist. Shout out Vic, Inner Arts Media. So I'm with him and Wes. And basically, the plan was to just relax, really just kind of vacation vibes. Wes had a penthouse suite, overlooked the uh, where the Phoenix Suns play, overlooked the whole city. We were going to hit a Suns game. I think it was a Sunday morning. West Side is in the back getting ready because we're about to go get some food. So me and Vic are sitting out in the living room and I had MPC1, the 606, a Beats pill. I think he has some KRKs hooked up too. But I really just had like a little rig because everywhere I go, even on vacation with my family, I take something. Like the family's asleep and I'm awake, I can make beats or whatever. I just always take a drum machine on vacation. So I just set up in the kitchen, probably the size of the basement. And um, I just set up in there. I just put this by the sink, put the speakers up and just start making beats. And that's what I did. You know, every day I was there, I would just make beats in the morning. I look at Vic, I'm like, yo, I'm about to make some beats or whatever. Cause he's watching the game, Nets versus Knicks. And this is when KD played for the Nets. I told Vic, I'm like, I know you're watching the game, man. I'm about to make beats. I don't want to ruin it for you. And he's like, nah, do your thing. So I'm filing through, finding samples and I come across this sample. Some old wild, some old wild, like, like, gospel, like. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just some old gospel. And, and like just the texture of it was crazy. And um I found the AJ Hall break. Um, shout out AJ Hall, got some heat on the drums. So um I found the hall break and I just started messing around with the chops of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So let's get into our mute groups, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to take it as as minimalistic as possible. Again, I'm making beats in a kitchen. Um, you know, I don't got my 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 things, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got I ain't got my facilities yet, you know what I'm saying? I'm just working with these two things in, in a kitchen. Um, I don't even think I had headphones. I was just doing stuff. This is what we came up with. Yeah. So as soon as I get everything chopped up, you know what I'm saying? Like it always happens. All my beat makers, all my producers, artists, y'all know as soon as you get something cooking, like if you got to leave to go to dinner or leave to go do something or leave to pick the kids up or go do something, right when you get it going is when somebody say okay okay cool let's go I'm ready to go right so uh, that's where I'm at I got this going and I'm just like trying to think of some drums in my head and then Wes come out and he's like alright man let, let's do it what y'all trying to eat and um, I'm like alright boom I stop it and I'm like uh, let's go to the one the, the, the one chicken and waffle spot and he said whoa what was that? 
And I'm like, what? I'm about to turn it off. Like, I had my hand on the power button. And he was like, what is that? And I was like, oh, this is just some shit I was doing because you we was waiting on you. And he was like, play, play, play. So I played it again. Then he was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could, I could, see, I could see the, like, wheels going. And so at that point... At that point, I re- you know, we're being gifted. Like, this is lightning in a bottle. This is the the thing that makes us creative people. This is the thing that makes us friends. This is the thing that we do. So I already knew what time it was. I'm about to finish this shit, right? So I find the hall break. And Wes is just writing this shit. He's, he's writing in his head, in his phone, on paper, just whatever, just ideas, just doing whatever. And I let this shit run for like, I don't even know, maybe five minutes. And then I put the break in there. And it really was rocking. And, and th- at this point, I liked it, but I was like, man, like, it, it really wasn't my first, my first choice. It was my first instinct, but it wasn't my first, my initial first choice of what I would want the song to be. If Wes said, I'm going to take that beat and put Rome and Stove on it, if he would have told me that, then I probably would have, like, wanted to do some different things, but he didn't tell me that. So we was just rocking with it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I added a kick drum to it. Saying Westside Gun took a, a video of me making this beat, you know what I'm saying? Vibing. I reposted it and put something like making beats in my friend's kitchen or something like that. Conductor, we have a moment, you know what I'm saying? Got passed around, passed around. This is before 10 came out. I dump it into Pro Tools or Wave Lab, whatever I was using at the time. We went, ate lunch. And that was it, right? So I get back to Kansas City. I get a text from Wes and he's like, he's like, yo, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that shit you made in my kitchen. I said, all right, use it. Maybe a month later, get a draft of the BDP with Rome on it. And I was just like, Whoa, wait a minute. Like, yo, wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute, bruh. I thought West Side Gun was just going to be on it the whole time. So when I heard Rome, I'm like, oh, I never would have thought. You know what I'm saying? Rome killed it. It's kind of impossible who had the best verse, but comment below. You know what I'm saying? Those are my brothers and I love them. So it's nothing more than than just hearing from y'all who y'all favorite verse was, not who had the best, but who was y'all favorite verse. They all went, they all kicked some crazy shit. Like, West opening bars is crazy. Stove's ending bars, like, Stove's last four bars are my favorite bars of his. Rome, that might be my favorite Rome Streets verse. But in the comments, who your favorite verse was on there, man? It's, it's kind of tough to pick. Maybe on different days you'll pick uh, different verses, but that's it, man. That's BDP. Off of West Side Guns 10 Project. Clap it up, man. Clap it up, man. For real. One of my favorite joints. One of the, one of the most random joints. I be making beats in random places all the time anyways. Like I said, on vacation, I, I pull out the drum machine. I'll make a beat in the kitchen. I'll set up in the kitchen. People that visit our home, they always see, like, drum machines everywhere. You know, like, there'll be one in one room and one in the kids' playroom and one there and one there and two downstairs. And it's just because, you know what I'm saying, I never know when I'm going to be creative or when I have an idea or, or whatever. So just a part of my life. You know, music is really a part of my life. God has really blessed me with this gift to make sounds, recorded media, make hip-hop music, and make score 
style music and, and give these already recorded events, give them a different soul and give them a different life. And um, I really thank God for giving me that talent to do that. And it makes me happy. And I, I'm thankful that I got a chance to share my gift because a lot of folks, they don't realize what their gift is or they never get a chance to like monetize it. But ultimately, whatever your creative talent is, I believe that it's for you to harvest. And I believe that it's for your happiness. And I believe that God is so good, man, to where he creates these things that can pacify us and our happiness. And sometimes it ain't to be monetized, right? Sometimes making beats and being a beat maker and being a producer, it's not to monetize. It's not to make money for. It's not for the world to know you. When I came to that realization, honestly, in my heart, and not sour grapes, not a sour grapes thing where I'm like, I'm not, you know, like I'm not really popping this shit. So, you know, it, it's not for me. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Not that. I'm talking about when I came to, in my heart, show that gratitude to God, like, yo, man, y'all, you gave me this and it makes me happy. And I'm, I'm just thankful for that. When I come to that realization, I became a better creative person because the pressure was released, you know. I've um, done plenty of plenty of art studies. Y'all know I be on my art studies and shit. I um, read this deal about uh, Duchamp. At the height of his art, he um, quit and got a job at a library and became a chess player because he didn't want to fulfill what people wanted from him. And so to make ends meet and pay the bills and shit, he figured he would just do something else and still create art. That's something that always stuck with me as I read that because I'm like, yo, bro really was at the height of what he was doing and decided to quit because he didn't want to fit and fill a space for people. That's what the whole union mentality is. My friends, family, followers, fans, supporters, I call y'all union because y'all are the ones that support me, just like a blue collar working union. Y'all are the ones that are in the comments of records when I don't get credit or when something sound like conductor or when somebody say conductor, y'all are the ones working craft in the comment sections of wherever saying, nah, conductor made that or nah, 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 that sound like a conductor record or putting people up on me and up on my music. And I really appreciate that. So that's why I call y'all my union because as I'm working for y'all, y'all are working for me. And um, as we go further into building this community, man, I'm going to create more outlets for us to have these moments. We're going to have a few more of these moments where we get to communicate, collaborate, and all of that. So stay tuned. Hit up Conductor. We have a problem.com. Conductor, we have a problem. The merch is still rolling. Conductor Hands logo right here designed by Poncho. Affordable merch for working crafts, for people that are creatives. Some shit you can put on and get get into it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you do. It's all I got. It's me, BDP. West Side Gun, Rome Streets, Stowe Guy Cooks. Till next time, Conductor out. <laughs> Conductor, we have a problem.